Hi, you know there's five different options when filling your ATM with cash? Stay to the end of the video and I will tell you these five options. Hi, I'm Phil from PDQ Merch Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, and we help hundreds of aspiring ATM business owners go from zero ATM to ATM Business Pro in as little as 30 days. Always remember here at PDQ Merch Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Without further ado, the top five ways that you can fill your ATM in the ATM business. Way number one. Now this is pretty much the standard way in the ATM business. You, you fill the ATM with your own money, you have a vault cash account, a surcharge account, your general checking account, you put the money into your ATM, you split that revenue stream with the location. Let's say for this example, we're gonna go 350. I've been talking about everybody should be going up in the surcharge. So this is a great time because of inflation, the current administration and inflation numbers are out and it's way up. So you know what? Take advantage of it, raise the surcharge because it's tough right now with gas and everything. So take advantage of it. But let's say it's 350, you kick 50 cents back to the location, you got $3. That is the standard split in the ATM business and that is the standard model. You're putting your own money into the ATM. Keep in mind, you're gonna be getting that money back every day, every business day. On the weekends, you don't get the money back, but on Monday, you get all the money from the weekend. So that's the typical split in the ATM business. Point number two, you hire a vault casher. Phil, what's a vault casher? A vault casher is somebody who will put their own money into your ATM. They'll have the safe password, they'll have the password to get into the safe and, the, and to get into programming, and they'll take their money, they'll put it into your ATM. And then you'll have to negotiate what other things they do. Most of the time what they'll do is they'll run first line maintenance, which means if there's a bill jam, they'll go to the location and they'll unjam the bill. If there's a paper jam, they'll go to the location, unjam the paper, so now, is paper included in this deal? It's an all negotiation. Sometimes, you know what? You'll just send your vault casher some paper and say, hey, when it gets low, please refill it. Other times, they'll put the, their paper in for you. So that's a negotiation. What happens with service? They usually do some of the service, but if they need parts, you'll pay for the parts, you'll give it to your vault casher, they'll replace it, and then you have to negotiate. Are they paying for the labor? Are you paying for the labor? What's that? But that's all a negotiation based on how much are, are you paying them per transaction. Standard deal right now is anywhere from 70 cents to $1.25 per transaction. What does that vary on? Usually it'll vary on how many transactions they do. The higher the transaction money or the higher the transaction every month, then maybe it's a little cheaper. The lower it'd be more expensive. Also depends on how it encompasses into their own route, because basically what these are is similar companies to you, they're just in that geographic area, and then they can say, you know what, I can put my money in there, I can work it into my route, and we could have another location to pick up some extra revenue. So if you're thinking about starting your own profitable ATM business, but didn't know where to start, stay to the end of the video, and I will share with you a checklist on how to start your ATM business the right way, even if you have zero experience in business. In this checklist, I will share with you the five things you need to start your profitable ATM business so you can build a passive income source for your family. You have a clear roadmap towards ATM business success so you can earn between $250 and $1,500 of passive income every single month. All right, let's get back to the video. Point number three, armor car. So here's with an armored car. This is somebody like Loomis, Brinks, Thielens. That's a Chicago company. Hey, I plugged them. They, they owe me for a video. But what they do is they'll, you will contract with them and they will take, you have to get a special lock onto your ATM. And what they'll do is they'll have a key code. They'll initial a code to, for their drivers to come to, and then they will put their, they will put your own money or a line of credit if you establish with them or they'll loan you money into your ATM and they will also do for first line maintenance, replace the paper and they will re uh, do bill gems. However, they have to drop it a specific day of the week. If that, that alters, they're gonna charge you for that. They charge you per drop and the money that's outstanding. What does that look like? You, it's been changing ever since uh, gases went up and, and labor shortages, but you gotta figure somewhere between 80 and $125 per drop based on some denominations, but just to ballpark it so you guys would have any idea, that's about what it costs per drop on the ATM. So if you're not making that kind of money 
and you got to go, let's say twice or three times a month, that's what it's going to cost you. So you got to make sure that re regardless if you're making money or not, that's what they're going to pay. And they're going to ask for a lengthy contract, maybe a six months, or maybe a year. So you got to know what you're doing and make sure that you don't go upside down on this location. And you also have to have insurance on this. So make sure that you have enough ATMs to secure the insurance because now it's their money. They're going to ask for that policy. Point number four, and this is what we call full service. Phil, what's full service? Full service is where you have a location. Let's call it Joe's Bar and Grill. I got Joe's Bar and Grill and I want to hire a Valter. Valter will say, you know what? Here's the situation. What I'll do is I'll take, I'll do a full service. I'll put my ATM in there. You get the contract. It's in your name. I'll put the, I'll put my ATM in your location. I'll service it. I'll stock it. I'll fill it. Let's, let's give you an example. You give me $2. There's, there's a dollar 50 left. You give the location 50 cents and now you make a dollar. That's all in a negotiation of you, the ATM operator. How good in negotiations are you? This way it makes it very passive. Somebody else is handling the ATM. You got the contract and all you're doing is sitting back and collecting. Not a bad way. It's kind of like having an apartment building and sending it to a management company. We're taking that ATM. We're sending it to a management company. They're going to handle everything. And all I have to do is worry about make sure that they, they're doing their job every month. My customer gets paid and I'm out of the deal, but I got the location. So keep in mind, there's another opportunity, but you got to have on these deals, just like the vault cashier, you're going to have to have a minimum of at least hundred transactions a month or the vault cashier isn't going to do the deal because they got to make their money and it's not enough money to generate, to pay back the ATM, to pay for labor, pay for a gas. So just keep in mind, you need about a minimum of hundred transactions per month to make it feasible for anybody else to do this deal. And point number five is, this is one that we used to do back in the day, is if I couldn't fill the ATM myself and it didn't pay for Armor Car, what you could do is you can always go to a location and you say, look, here's the deal. It's my ATM, I'll service it, but you stack it with your money, I'll give you a percentage of the thing. Sometimes it's as much as 50%, sometimes it's less, but there's always an option for you to, to do this. If the vault cashier in your area, you can't find one, or if Armor Car is too expensive, you can always, Go to the location, ask them if they can put their money into it. Now, keep in mind, this isn't always the best situation because most of the time, the reason the ATM store owner got you is because they didn't want to put their own money in. Now you're going back to them and say, hey, I need you to put your money in it. So one of the things it does is it also lowers the amount of transactions you do because if they don't have the money, they're going to put $500 at a time. It runs out two, three days. They don't really care. So you just got to keep that, make sure that that ATM is full. And how you do that is you're gonna to have to work a little closer with your location owner. So that might be an option for a temporary fix, but it's not always the best option. So if you're interested in starting your own ATM business, I wanna invite you to my free checklist entitled ATM Business Passive Income Checklist. The five things you need to start a profitable ATM business, where I'll share with you the five things you need to start a profitable ATM business so you can start earning passive income, make more money, and spend more time with your family. So if you're interested in your journey, click the link down below and start your ATM journey today. Remember, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, where we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Thank you guys very much.